All right, El Paso. I'm here live in the northeast side of town at the Border Patrol Station where there are some protesters actually standing out here on the gateway uh, holding some signs. We're going to come out here and take a look to see what's going on, see what all the protesting is about. Let's go find out what's happening. Got some news crews here. We are witnesses. see what some of these signs say. Hi guys. Hi. Let me see what your signs say. I'm Ben with Sun City Livestreams Facebook page. Just streaming stuff and now stuff that's happening in El Paso. I come to see, I heard you guys were out here. Curious to see what you guys are protesting. Who's, uh, I guess, leading this kid? All right. Oh, she's over there. Hi. Reunite families now. No soap, no space. Are you guys with an organization or anything, or just just a group of citizens concerned? Yes. All right. My name is Ben Carnavali. I'm with Sun City Live Streams. Oh. Okay. Nonpartisan uh, live stream service in El Paso. Just oh. we stream all kinds of things. Oh. Anything interesting we'd like to show. Okay. And what are you called? Sun City Live Streams. Here you go. All right. Honk if you agree. Enough. They are children. I would do anything for my children, sure. and that's all these families are trying to do. Just give their children a better life, keep them safe, out of gang violence, and you know, we're a wonderful, open-armed country that should be accepting them and welcoming them, not punishing them, and definitely not uh, creating long-term psychological trauma by removing them from their parental love and care. So. I, I hear what you're saying, and I, I don't disagree with you. I think children need to be very. It needs to be very careful with Are the you children. A father? I am a father. Yes. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, thanks. How many kids do you I have? I have one boy, and he's a full-grown man now. So I'm, wow. I look a lot younger than I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the hat. If I, you know, it's the hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's say, let's say the opposition is telling, telling you, uh, you guys, obviously that, hey, you know, uh, the parents came illegally, and you know, they're trying to keep the children safe because some of them. I think it, the number was 15% is actually they're being either trafficked or recycled. For those 15%, how do we solve that problem that people are concerned with? Because honestly, that should be a concern for us. Both I, I think we, we start by living up to our own standards and ideals as a country and not creating conditions like we all read about this mm -hmm. week in the New York yeah. Times, yeah. where children don't have diapers, yeah. where they're not given shampoo or soap. You know, there's a there's a blanket right here. This is a thermal, metallic thermal blanket. That This is the only blanket that children are being given to keep warm when the sun goes down in the desert. And this is, this is the best we can do. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, I think really that's step up our game. Yeah, I agree. So, yes, yeah. there are big long term issues and problems, mm -hmm. but let's not create yeah. human rights violations. Yeah. Let's, you know, be the caring, loving, accepting country that we are. Yeah. Let's hold ourselves to a higher standard. I agree and with that. show the world, yeah. you know, what we stand for. If I may, in response to your question, because yeah. when you said these people have come here illegally, okay. and I think, you know, that's really. Um, Semantics. Yeah. Sure. The United States is a place that has always welcomed, almost always welcomed immigrants, mm -hmm. people seeking a better life, whether from Europe, Africa, South America, Asia, North America. Yeah. We've always been that place. Mm -hmm. And so the, the desire to come here doesn't make somebody illegal. Okay. You know, coming across the border doesn't make somebody illegal. If people are seeking asylum because the situation back home is untenable. Mm -hmm. America's always been a place they've been able to look to for hope, sure. for a better life for them and their kids. So that's what we're seeing. And, and I kind of wager if, if people were feel, fleeing persecution in Norway or Switzerland right now, mm -hmm. these issues wouldn't be happening. Sure. If it was white children, people would say, give them blankets, give them food, make uh -huh. sure they have a diaper in the shower every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the food nutritious? Are there vegetables? No, but you know, where, where's that outcry yeah. from the American populace? Should 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 we get involved? Should America get involved with those countries to s try to stabilize it, or should we stay out? What do you think? America has a long history 
of helping the countries that are disadvantaged, starting with World War II and the Marshall Plan. Mm -hmm. We didn't just leave Europe in shambles. We didn't leave Germany in shambles. Mm -hmm. We rebuilt the country. Our money and the Europeans' money. Mm -hmm. Started the United Nations. That's what we do. We need to be helping the countries in the tri, the tri countries mm -hmm. in South America, Central America, who need help to stabilize their regimes, to stabilize their governments, to provide the people who live there with a stable, secure life. Sure. And if that happens, then we'll see we'll see a change with the immigrants. Sure. There'll still be people coming for work, and mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. A sure. work program is yeah, that's ideal. Yeah, a good idea. I think it's a good idea, it's, too. It's ideal. Yeah. But they won't have to bring their whole families. Sure. People want to live in the area that they're comfortable with, right. in the culture that they're comfortable with. Yeah. They would stay there with their families while the men folk, yeah. or sometimes the women, would come and work. I agree with you. I think that's something that we should. We they should. Uh, they want to come and work. They want to just. Uh, a lot of them want to just work and provide for their families. That's right. And the work program that we used to have at Braceros so used to work out great. I mean, I think it's something that we should reestablish because it, it's helpful yeah. for these families so that they don't have to drag. And my philosophy is simple. Nobody wants to leave their home. They're, they leave their home because they're forced to leave it. Yes. Um, you know, there there are some that are shady characters. We can't deny there are a percentage. But I I, I believe, you know, there, there people want... All right, everyone. Do, they are, this is a group. Uh, they're not an organized group. They're just a concerned citizens here that are, that are protesting the children that are being held inhumanely uh, and according to their their opinion and their, pers their perspective um, they want better conditions for the children so they can get you know stay warm at night uh, uh, have showers brush their teeth etc um, again I don't have access to the inside of the border patrol office or the tent back there so I can't verify that these things are happening only, only message only news we have is from the attorneys that that uh, have gone inside and brought back that information um, but either way, we should have that kind of uh, information available. The public should be able to see, I think, one way or the other. It is our tax dollars being spent, and uh, the citizens' concerns are justified uh, in, if you, in that regard. If, they, if they're not getting the information, if they're not getting the information that they're asking for with their tax dollars, I don't see why why we're not allowed. If the border patrol is doing their jobs inside here then perhaps they should just show. I mean, that's really the answer, right? If, if, they, sh if they show us. What's up, buddy? What up, man? How are you? Doing good, man? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Checking it out. Checking it out. I went to check out the bar, and now you, I didn't see you guys last week. Oh, where was that at? We were at, uh, at um, Avilas. Avilas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were at Avilas. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, bro. Good, good, good. Good, I'm Ben. Just doing our live stream, man. Here's a picture of Ben. Let's talk to you. <laughs> so the protesters are here. That is a, they're asking to free the children. I got a question. I, I had another question I haven't actually had a good answer for. Maybe you guys can give a good answer. Like your sign says free the children, and if we put them back with the parents, the parents are in jail, right? Or say they're in, in, a, in a, a, like this facility. How long is it okay for the children to be in that environment? And if the children uh, have, say their parents were deported and the children, what do we do with them? With the children? Yeah. What do we do with them? Because I know they put them in a foster system after yeah. a while, right? So is that, the, is that the same solution to put them in a foster system? Is that the, is that our, is that the solution? Maybe, uh, maybe we have another solution, a better I one? I think their main argument here is like the inhumane conditions uh -huh. of that the children Oh, what are they're in right now. In, okay, okay. Or what court hearings that last like 30 seconds each case okay. and what do they do they end up just deporting them so okay i mean i don't understand the point of keeping the children in these cages for so long when they already know the decision that they're gonna gotcha make. i see and they're I gonna see. make it in 30 okay seconds. okay so that's what it is and why I, do you think they do that I, I don't know the answer to that so what, i actually what? took a whole class on this and it's really to they don't want to waste money because each case is money to them, okay. and so they don't want to waste. And also, they don't provide these people from, they're not just from Mexico, they're from yeah. other, you know, South American countries. Right. They don't provide them with translators. They're not getting the adequate information that they need. So they can be 
you know, they could fend for themselves if they're provided adequate enough assistance mm -hmm. to get what they need. Sure. So they're in these courts with, you know, the, these border patrol agents, mm -hmm. this judge, that they know yeah. that they are messing them. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's just, it's just like the inhumane conditions. Sure. Okay. And also, if America is going to preach this American dream, mm -hmm. then they have to know that people are going to want to And they have to make <laughs> and you know, it's really hard to make citizenship so attainable because of all of these, you know, roadblocks and it's just, if you're preaching American dream, sure. if you want capitalism to be alive, mm -hmm. you have to know that you're a developing country, and that, or you're a developed, developed country, okay. and that others are going to sure. be Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm, my concern is, I've, my concern in my personal stance is I've always been concerned about trafficking, child trafficking. You know, someone really close to me was trafficked and it really, really hits home. So my biggest concern is a child being trafficked because I know they have no defense at all. It, uh, someone who is, might be bringing them that we think is the dad and mom is not, and they mistreat them and they you know abuse them, and it's sad. It's really sad. Somebody, it's a very small percentage, but it's still those. I want to figure out a way to stop that. That particular item, I'm very concerned with, and I don't know how to do it. I don't know if anybody has an answer to that. Yeah, because that's the worst. I mean, maybe if they catch the person who's trafficking a harsher punishment, maybe that'll deter. I don't know, but I know that's my biggest concern, the trafficking. And, and, and also, I mean, if the kids are living in horrible conditions, a blanket, I mean, a blanket, right? Instead of a, a I, I agree with that. I think we should provide it. Yeah, it's like aluminum foil. <laughs> it is, I, I kind of see that. It's not, I don't know if it's a, 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 a method. I don't know. I mean, once they have them in a in a shelter, they should already be bathed, right? And also, the 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 idea of like, well, maybe they have lice or something. That's that's not the that's not happening. So a blanket would be fine, right? Yeah. You would think at least a warm blanket. Um, obviously a shower. Now I, I have a friend who is actually in the border patrol that's responsible for bathing a lot of the children, and he's usually out on the line. So they're actually taking agents, pulling them back, and having them do the abuse right, right, of minors. Right. Yeah. In the custody of yeah. our government. Yeah, that's what terrible. What are we doing? Yeah, they need. Nobody I mean, nobody <laughs> should be touching the genitals of children right. except for their parents to bathe yeah. them. Right. I mean, you have a, a yeah a fear of trafficking, and then once they get here, if no, the, there's some that are being no, abused, that just no. doesn't make sense, children right? Children need to be with their parents. Period. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. And we'll figure the rest out. Mm -hmm. Or cannot commit. Or other family members. Okay. Militia style training to train their employees. Mm -hmm. Like it's not that they're trained to be humane people. Like right. they literally use right. Because they're dealing with. I mean, they got to be honest. They right. are dealing with cartel members, so right. they're they're not trained. Like yeah. when I was in the army, I was trained to do my job. I wasn't trained to bathe a child. Right. right. That just doesn't make sense. So I mean, I get it. I totally get it. I mean, a little bit more uh, 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 attention to that type of thing on what you guys are fighting for. I, that makes sense. I mean, if they are. 300 children in there that are using these the blanket these these uh, the foil yeah it's kind of that's kind of not cool right i mean i mean i don't know why they do that I, I don't know the answer i haven't talked to the agents maybe someone could tell us explain why that's the case uh budgeting i don't know i don't know. now now talking about that are you do you guys follow what's going on in congress with the process okay so what do you think if congress would just the things that they don't agree with leave it out and say this is what we do agree with let's pass this forward right wouldn't that make sense like say we want we want a hundred million dollars for the shelters alone both sides can agree with that but instead what do they do they they stuff other things in there and the other side says oh well now i don't agree with that now and that's where we the people start getting at each other's throats because our congress can't seem to just agree on basic humanity items instead they want to get political so what is your message to Congress on those kinds of issues, you know? Uh, the thing is, asylum is legal in the United States, and if you're going to offer that, make sure that you know that people are going to come in mass numbers. Don't do, you know, prevention through deterrence, where they're deterring what these migrants do, like uh, dangerous terrains, and then when someone wants to go out there and give them water and provide them shelter, they, like, that's reprimanded, and mm. it's just, like, 
if you're gonna preach this, obviously you know that people are gonna come to your country. So make it moral. They shouldn't be immoral, you know. It's like a thing that you're providing. So, so Veronica Escobar has suggested with the idea of let's let's leave them, let's let them stay in their countries and they could file for asylum from their homes. Is that is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? I don't think that's a feasible idea because for many of these people, the threats that they're facing are immediate. Yeah. You know, they have death threats out against them and they've already tried it's like relocating and trying to survive within their home country and they just need to get out of there. Okay. So I think because our country is... And it should be a safe place. It's our duty to house people who are fleeing from danger like that. Mm -hmm. Even if we don't have sure. the capacity right now. Sure, sure. And I, I, I was at Veronica Escobar's town hall meeting a few weeks ago, and I, I asked for, for peace for for both sides. Calm down. Let's calm down. Let's 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 be a, a rational adults. We could call it border patrol cruel. And that's okay if, if you believe they're cruel. But if they don't have the tools and resources, they're trying to make do with what they have. I know, again, a, a few Border Patrol friends have brought items themselves, soaps and stuff, for, for the kids and stuff. And the guy that, you know, that's doing the bathing. Because they don't have enough money to provide all the resources. Now, don't get me wrong, America has the money. It's just Congress doesn't want to do what's right for the people and, and actually agree on something. Do you think maybe, you think Congress is like kind of doing this on purpose, you think, to keep this fight going? For the till we get to election time to keep us all angry at each other, because honestly, you and I, if we sat and talked about it, we would come to a lot that we agree on. Right. But yeah. just there's those things that that Congress yeah. is like, no, 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 we don't. We're gonna keep the people angry and yeah, angry, yeah. right? I mean, there are political tools like the the argument of like calling them concentration camps and people sure. are just like going too far into that and sure. to deter us from like what's actually happening. Like whatever, if you want to call it a concentration camp, if you don't, whatever, it's happening. Like it's just. Yeah. Evil, I mean, yes, it's, 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 it's a tool. Sure. Yes. A political, the, yeah. the rhetoric, right? The rhetoric, it's like, what was it? The uh, Democrats were saying uh, that words matter, words matter. And it does, you know, on both sides. You know, I mean, how would you feel if you were a Border Patrol agent right now, right? You would be like, God, I'm such a bad guy, but you're trying to do your job, just trying to, it's kind of, it's kind of bad, right? You, we put them in a spot like, how dare you guys, you're evil, like, but I don't have any tools. The promise of... Someone's always needing cleaning supplies or toothpaste, right? Some, some, so I don't, I don't know why they would turn that kind of thing away. It doesn't make sense to me either. Um, and they turned it away. It doesn't make sense. I can take you over to my car. It's uh -huh. filled with supplies that they've rejected for the kids. Let's go Do take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to see what they're turning away. All right, we're going to go uh, to the car here and see what's what's uh, what's what the Border Patrol is turning away. Because, I mean, honestly, guys, if it is supplies that, that, that they need... Why, why would they turn away a donated supply? I don't know. I don't know the logistics behind it, so I, I can't say either way. But it's just a question I think we should ask. If there is supplies available and somebody wants to uh, donate, um, maybe you guys know the answer. Uh, why, they, why they turn away supplies when somebody wants to donate. Okay, here's a, here's a car full. There you, yeah, perfect. Okay, so this is my car. All right. And I just made a trip to Walmart. Okay. And because um, I flew in from Los Angeles this morning, so okay. I, I couldn't bring this all with me. Um, but I have boys' underwear and socks. I have a girls' underwear and socks. You know, many, many pairs. I have um, pull ups and diapers. I have wipes. I have sanitary napkins because, you know, mm -hmm. some girls might get their period for the first time. Mm -hmm. Their mothers well, aren't there to explain exactly to them. Exactly right. They yep. don't know what Didn't to do. Didn't think of that. You know? I hadn't thought of that one. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, yeah. you know, it's it's hard. It's hard for someone, you know, like me. I, you know, you would know. And you, yeah. you, if, you, if you do a lot of this kind of thing, you think of everything. I mean, well, you're right. Well, every mother knows what their kids need, right? <laughs> That's exactly and, right. And every father, too. I'm yeah, sure yeah, you would. absolutely. And, you know, toothpaste, toothpaste. because kids do need to right. brush their teeth. And this is um, all just hygiene products. There's no oh, yeah. food in here. This is just no, stuff no. to... Yes, uh, body wash and shampoo. Mm -hmm. I brought diaper rash cream. Yeah. Because, you know, the kids are not getting regularly changed, so they're developing painful rashes. And I don't know about you and your kids, your son sure. when he was young. 
I mean, my kids even like five, six, sometimes we get a rash. Right. You know, they're not right. great about all this. Sure. So, um, yeah, that's the diaper cream down there and just a bunch of, you know, different Okay, well, Al, that's, that's, well, thank you for yeah. doing this. This is, uh, I mean, a lot of people have the heart like you do to want to, I mean, it's, it's really looking past, I think. So at some point, people want to say, let's look past whether they're illegal or not, they, or they're immigrants I don't or not. Any human is sure. ever illegal. Sure. Yeah. So let's get to the part now. How can we take care of them since they're already here? That's right. And right. then deal okay. with their cases okay. on a case by case sure. basis and yeah. figure out, you know, are they in imminent danger of being murdered in the street? Sure, sure. If yes, let's keep those families safe. Let's, sure. you know, put, the, put them to work to build our economy the way our country has always done. Sure. Let's, uh, you know, have them enter sure. school, learn English, sure. you know, and be contributing members of society. Gotcha. Let's okay. not traumatize them sure. and put them in cages. Okay. And in the meantime, you know, uh, we just immediately have to stop having kids separated from their parents mm -hmm. in cages. Sure. Let cats. me ask my viewers, yeah. guys, what do you think? So she brought, she flew in from California? Yeah, Los okay. Angeles. From Los Angeles. She brought all these supplies. She went to the store and she bought all these supplies. And the Border Patrol did not take them. For the viewers, do you have any idea why the Border Patrol agents would not take the supplies to use on the children if it's being donated by a citizen of, of the United States? I think that's a good question to ask, and, and I don't I don't know the answer. Maybe somebody who is you know related to Border Patrol yeah, can, yeah. Can, a, can answer it because that's a good question. Yeah. Um, I don't see. I personally don't see the problem with yeah. it. I, I don't. I don't so, know. So I don't know if you saw the video footage of inside the courtroom. The government lawyers <laughs> were trying to make the argument that these children did not need I saw toothbrushes that. and toothpaste I saw that. and soap. Sure. And the judge was like, "Are you seriously yeah, that was kind of trying to?" Yeah. But that was the argument they were making. And now that, that's a rule that's in the government for a few years now. That's been in there I, from what I understand from George Bush's time. Mm -hmm. It went in through Obama, and now still here with with Trump. Uh -huh. Even back then, it was it was kind of a ridiculous yeah. idea. I don't know why the government would say, "Okay, you have children, yeah. let's not give them supplies." Yeah. Right? But, it doesn't but make we, sense. We've never done this before. Sure, sure. We've never forced separated mm -hmm. children from their parents for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. This is something that's new, mm. and I don't care what political background you are. We all need to agree. Mm -hmm. Let's agree on just one thing: mm -hmm. that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. I, we can disagree. I'll debate with you all day long on the details of policy, but mm -hmm. like. Come on. Sure. Any reasonable, rational human being, mm -hmm. any parent, any person with a heart knows we just don't treat kids this way. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't treat adults this way either. Come on. Sure. You know. So I'm getting answers that some of them are saying for safety and security reasons. For example, somebody may like taint the soap or taint the toothpaste or, or I don't, I mean, I don't know about the diapers and such, but for that kind of thing. Sealed. Yeah. Sealed, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's sure. like some to ideas to poison the children. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, sure. I'm sure you could go and ask at any sh local shelter, true, the, true. Uh, homeless shelter, that's a good uh, point. food yeah. bank, you know, sure. do they accept donations from citizens? Gotcha. Like really? Come sure. on. Okay. Uh, I understand your concern. I'm glad you're so concerned <laughs> about the health and welfare of these children. Mm -hmm. I applaud that concern great yeah all right well what are you going to do with your supplies you're uh, going to try to get them in there yeah so there are some local organizations yeah. that are not part of the government that yeah. are just helping sure. the people and sure. they will They'll take welcome them. this okay. yeah, so when did thrilled. when did you try to give it to the government at what point um, um i have it i videoed it oh him okay refusing it actually did you really Yeah. when we first pulled up he came over and he's like why are you guys here and i'm like oh you know we brought some supplies we read the new york times article about the kids not mm -hmm. having diapers soap toothbrushes mm -hmm. and and we'd love to donate these and we can't accept those we can't accept those oh, wow okay um, yeah and he didn't say why though he just said we can't accept them yes that's right wow so, okay yeah. all right well that's good so, to know i mean it's interesting mm -hmm. I, I again you know the idea is it's not a food bank it's a mm -hmm. detention facility you know, so yeah, bad people can tam tamper. Not that you're a bad person, of course. Yeah. But it's just the idea that I, I don't. I can imagine. Say, let's just say somebody did. I'm just you know yeah. scenario and, and one of the toothpaste and then say five kids got sick because of it. Then what? They're gonna all yeah. oh, the border patrol. Well, so, so I can see. Yeah. So all the more reason for our government to do it themselves. To do it themselves <laughs> right. and have quality control. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these are that, just that's basic true. needed things. And that goes back to the statement. I mean, yeah. if Congress is in there fiddling around with this idea no. just just cut the cut the fat please, get them the supplies please. and at least 
humanitarian, right? Thank and then you. deal with the legal stuff. Yes. Uh, if you guys can't agree, but if you're going to hold them, do it right. I mean, I, I agree with it. I, yeah. I personally, I do agree because I know. You. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I am an independent, so I kind of look at both sides yeah. and at objectively look at both sides. Yeah. And you have to. And honestly, they are human beings. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was out on a border and I might go back out there. Uh, and, and we saw some families come across and, yeah. you know, we had questions and we had concerns sure. and, and, you know, I, I, I'm personally, I know families who have come over and have, yeah. have, have made a life and their children have been successful. Yeah. So there's, there's the, there's, there's, it just depends how you see the whole story. Right. Sure. And I mean, a lot of people are political and, and you look at from a political perspective and some ideas, well, it's not really concerned about this generation it's the offspring that they're going to be all democrats right and so they're going to outvote everybody and then that's going to be it so there's a, that concern on the right on the left i don't i don't know what there's no concern it's just like hey let's let's let people in and do do uh enjoy the benefits of the country and then they can contribute and then we could all be happy and, and live mm-hmm. prosperously right? That's right so it's a debate that's going to never end i don't feel right, right? it's never going to end yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's something. And, and nation states have throughout history dealt with, you know, issues around immigration yeah. and yeah. justice and people, you know, refugees. Sure, and, sure. Uh, asylum. And, you know, mm-hmm. this is why we have courts, why we have laws, why we have policies. Sure. Um, but, you know, let's not just uh, completely fall from, you know, reasonable sure. global international standards yeah. for the treaty, international treaty and human Sure. Um, so a uh, question here that someone asks is, yeah. what about the homeless veterans, you know, the homeless here, the homeless oh, children that are already here? Like yeah. L.A., we've, we're seeing a lot of homeless in L.A. Yes. now. What's well, going on okay. over there? What's so going on in Cal- that's Yeah, city. what's happening? And, well, um, you know, I'm actually quite involved in yeah. dealing with homeless kids in L.A. Uh-huh. And You said you're a doctor. I am. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. And, uh, you know, I and a mother of three sure yeah the idea so uh what you have in los angeles is because of the weather (laughs) yeah yeah. and the beach you have a lot of um kids that have escaped um horrible situations Uh abusive situations they're runaways young teenage runaways yeah, yeah. or they have aged out of the foster system right, right. and been given their belongings in a plastic See, bag good and luck. just good luck yeah that that happens without yeah. any yeah. structure or support sure and um they you know don't yeah. do well there you know we need to do a much better job all around everywhere yeah, yeah we, we yeah. do have a but, problem but one bad doesn't justify sure. another bad or right. a worse you sure know? sure sure that makes um, sense that yeah makes at sense. least like the homeless kids in la will hand them a ticket for loyalty ordering on a street corner sure, we're sure. not locking them in cages uh, you know, we're not giving them metal blankets as yeah. they're only and having them sleep on concrete yeah. floors so you have a big heart thank you you have a big heart that's I really do. it really i think a lot of people i meet have big hearts they just want to see compassion yeah, right and yeah. it makes sense sure. it doesn't that's, make sense i think what my sign is yeah about. i think we need love, we need you know? love. And children do. The children, like my saying is, the children are victim. They're they're they're, they're blameless here. Yeah. They're part of the, they're part of the victims here. I mean, mm-hmm. the adults if they know they're going to come to the country. I mean, the, the, I, my idea is okay. Mm-hmm. Go line up in the port. Tell them you're claiming asylum, and they'll do whatever they have to do. Right. Yeah. So you know they're doing that. Yeah. Okay. They're and that's good. That. And yeah. and and then once they're here, I I saw a a a, a hearing, a congressional mm-hmm. hearing with the new head of the DHS. Uh-huh. And he was saying that they, they ran a pilot program, and that's why I gave you that number 15%. They ran a pilot program of, for, a, what was it, three days, and they had, a, a what was it, a thousand people they DNA tested, quick, random, ra- rapid DNA. Uh-huh. And they found 15% of the children were not belonged to the family. They weren't related in any way, not even relative. They were, they were actually the traffic. And, of course, like I said, that's 15%. That's my biggest concern, the trafficking. Because, like, like I said, it's a friend, mm-hmm. a very close person of mine yeah. was trafficked. And so oh, I, 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 it's, it's the horrible thing. And the yeah. children, they have no say in this. They're so little, they can't fight, right? Yeah. So I, I, I'm very concerned about that. If, if, if we can get all these families to go through the ports and that way we can vet them, mm-hmm. I'd feel much more better about the situation. Yeah. You know, because I know there's... I mean, we have the holes in the wall here. You might have seen videos mm-hmm. and stuff, and they're just mm-hmm. coming across, and so they grab them and they put them in these yeah. uh, holding areas. But I'll ask 
ask you as a father, yeah. just remember when your your child couldn't yeah. defend himself. Yeah. If he was hungry, yeah. if he was if his life and well being was being threatened, mm -hmm. if you were afraid that he was gonna get shot in the street because of, you know, drug cartels or violence, yeah. would you do whatever it took? Yeah, to oh I, I agree with you, yeah, completely. Yeah. I would. I, I you know, and it's again it's the the fifteen percent that you can't I don't believe you should just you know let's okay well 15% that means all of them you know no it's there's a 15% of these people are bad people that's according to those numbers I, and I you need know? to read the study I'm a yeah. science person yeah yeah so yeah I, I want to see the yeah results. actually so, it was on um you could probably do a search it was uh yeah, it was DHS, the DHS the head of DHS and they did gave, DNA testing they did, they did rapid DNA testing okay. uh-huh yeah they like about that. for a it was like it was a pilot program they wanted to see what statistics they would get I've not heard of that yeah yeah it's, it's much higher than I would have uh, me too I thought so, yeah yeah I thought and so I too would want to read that study yeah I, I I didn't get to see the numbers but they they did ask him for the numbers the yeah. congress congress people yeah. so I'm hoping I can find that study okay uh hopefully we both can find I it I will and read evaluate. it review it and give you my opinion. yeah yeah because I mean I'm a stats guy myself so yeah. I, I you know I, I like to know the facts before I pick a decision yeah. but this is uh what you've done here is commendable oh, thank I, you. I, I I mean again I, my concern is with the way the children, they, they shouldn't be cold at night. They no. shouldn't be lacking showers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they should I mean, get good nutrition. Right, right. I think that's fair. All okay. right, well, thank so you for everything. These are supplies that were refused. You know that. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have a uh, trunk of supply, uh, supplies. Uh, trunk of supplies that she brought. She flew in from Los Angeles to uh, participate and bring some some supplies here and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other uh, individuals willing to go to that link to help out in some capacity we're gonna go see here uh, what else is going on it's a border patrol agent I don't, I'm not sure how long they plan to stay out here. Um, if, they're just, if they're here for a day, are they plan to they come out here a few more days? They got a sign of Trump. It's actually. <laughs> oh, that's the baby. That's the baby Trump balloon. So how long? How long do you guys intend to stay out here? Do you guys? Is this a multi-day thing or is it a one-day? Yeah, multi-days. Oh, to the week. Oh, you're going to go yeah. to Clint also? That's where the children are. Oh, they moved them from... Yep. I, I saw that they moved them. I don't know where... They moved them to Clint. They were here? Oh, yeah. They were in Clint. Then they moved them here. And, they're back. and now they're back in Clint. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you're going to be... Are you guys from El Paso? You are? Okay. She was from Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. The Bay Area. Okay. All right. So you'll be out on the Clint tomorrow? and Tonight. Tonight. Okay. At 8.30. At 8.30 tonight? And is it going to be the same back and forth uh, throughout the next few days? We don't know, but we don't think so. Oh, okay. Julie is really kind of spearheading this particular... Ah, program. gotcha. Okay. Uh-huh. They probably moved them so they could de-louse the place and then I'll move them back. I'm kidding. I don't know. But that would be give them a chance to spring it all down. To clean it up. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, they need to be sanitary, right? I don't, I mean, I don't, I hope they don't shuffle them around. That's not good. That's not good. Even more trash. Right. You're shuffling them around. The true character of a society is revealed in how it treats its children. Nelson Mandela. They're here on the gateway. If you're wondering where they are, they're in front of the border patrol station. They're in front of, front of the border patrol station here, where in the northeast on, on Honda Pass, where uh, 
the migrants are being sheltered right now. And the, st the story is that they took the children out of here and took them to Clint, and they're going to go protest tonight at 8.30 in Clint. So that's going to be in about a... What is it? I don't know. We don't know what time it is. Another two hours, I believe, they're going to be they're going to be here. I have my other phone somewhere. Let me see. Got all the news. The news stations here. Traffic's kind of slowed down a bit, but actually it's not a bad spot because if they get on, if they go on Trans Mountain over there because of the construction, they're forced to get on the gateway here. If they if they stay on the gateway, they can't get on on Diana's or Hunap or over there. They can only come all the way down here, so it's not a bad strategic spot. You guys are watching this and you've not liked or followed Sun City live streams please do we have all kinds of uh, random live streams sometimes sometimes it's scheduled some this type of scenario here has been was, was random we didn't expect it to to, to happen we didn't know um, but we found it and we're gonna do a stream on it because we know this is a big concern for a lot of people and I keep losing connection out here Hey Steven, I talked to uh, one of them. One of them said that was a little harsh, calling it concentration camps. Um, I don't think I don't think these uh, individuals here are as as uh, as uh, extreme as that. Um, I don't see anybody sign saying that it's a concentration camp. I don't think I think I think they just want the kids to be taken care of better. Uh, at least give them you know showers and baths I, I don't think anybody can disagree if that's the case i don't know uh, again we don't nobody except the border patrol and the attorneys i think would know i would imagine the border patrol would have uh would have contested the statement i haven't heard otherwise but you know if they're down staff and they don't have the resources to to, to provide those things that the children need then yeah i, I guess i could see where they're they're kind of stuck in a in a in a pickle, the border patrol. They cannot. They don't have the resources to do that uh, kind of thing. Again, of course, I I know somebody personally who is actually giving the children baths, who is in the border patrol. Uh, so I don't know if it's just not an everyday thing. If it's just not uh, how how often that happens, I don't know. Um, but it it does happen. They are they are getting some some hygiene, but. As the lady mentioned earlier, um, Congress did make the argument that they didn't, or, or not Congress, uh, the, 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 uh, the government made the argument that the kids don't need toothpaste. She made those statements, which was kind of, uh, it's, it's, something, it's a rule that they've had from prior administrations. It's not a Trump rule. It's a prior administration rule that in the, in the, in it's, gives the government this kind of out um, for this situation, which I don't know why or uh, the background be behind that one um, but nonetheless it is there and the government did say it which is not a good look for the government no matter how you look at it I mean we I think we all agree we all need toothpaste whether you're you know in jail even the prisoners in jail get get hygiene products so I mean I, I don't know Hi, Michelle. Um, they're going to be out here for another hour. I don't, I don't know if they have water here. Let me ask. Do you guys have water for yourselves? Do you yeah. do you guys have your own supplies? Yeah. 
Some no, no. Somebody was asking if they can bring you some stuff oh, since you're out you here. So sure, sure. Yeah, no. They they have their supplies. I mean, they came prepared. That's good because uh, it is hot. They got a little cloud cover, tiny cloud. <laughs> Where are you with? I'm with Sun City Live Streams. Yeah, let me give you this. Live uh, audience asking questions. Now? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, both sides. It's a it's a non part. It's just a like we go and live stream all kinds of items. We do concerts, politics, uh, whatever. You know, so it's just something, whatever's in the happening, right? Whatever is that. El Paso has a lot of stuff happening, so we like to. Are you guys from El Paso? No, we're from California. Oh, you guys flew in from California? Yeah. Did you fly in today? Yeah. Is this the first time here? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think about our hot yeah, weather? It's hot. Hey, it's hot and dry. It's, hot. <laughs> it's, not, it's not moist like you guys have it over there. No, it's actually dry ish. Yeah. Not yeah. as dry as here. Yeah, okay. You guys are from LA also or from somewhere? Yeah, Northern California. Okay, Northern. You cool. Here? I'm from El Paso, yes. Yeah, I'm used to this dry stuff. I had a family member coming from Guam just uh, this past weekend, and they're like, it's cold out here. Like, are you kidding me? It's so it's 100% humidity, 100%, 100 degrees all the time in Guam, they said, so it's like freezing here. I saw it get down to like high 60s. Yeah, it's so, yeah, it's so cold over there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Well, welcome to El Paso. I wish you guys came on better terms to enjoy the city a little more. How long do you plan to be here? Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Sure. They got a little cloud coverage here. Someone's asking the question, are you guys with any particular uh, social group or anything like this? Are you just individuals that came on your own uh, accord? Oh, we're friends. We're from, we happen to go to the same church. Oh, okay. So you're... We decided to... Come out here and... and okay. Great, great. Okay, guys, they're from a church and they decided just to come out here uh, to join this group. And they're going to be here for two days, they said. So all the way from California.
here. It's windy out here. Cars riding by. developing their game plan for tomorrow. They're talking about going downtown tomorrow to the plaza uh, with more signs and such. And uh, I don't know, about 11 o'clock, they said, perhaps let me come back to this location. Their Facebook page is Caravan to, uh, to Clint. That's the name of the Facebook page, Caravan to Clint. So if you want to follow their activities, you can find them on that, on that page. Um, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and sign off here. This is Ben with Sun City Live Streams. Uh, share and follow and like and do all that good Facebook stuff. Um, I believe we're now on Instagram too. We're barely starting to use Instagram because I don't know how to use Instagram. But anyways, it's linked to my Facebook because it is Facebook page. So um, go ahead and, uh, and follow us on Instagram if you are also on that. And we'll see.